my name is Patricia and I'm from TarantulaHeaven.com and right here we have Miss Spidey, my Chilean rose hair, um, who's guarding her water dish and does not want me to put any water in it whatsoever. So yeah. Anyway, today we're going to talk about how to go on vacation with your pet tarantula. Now, if you're new to this channel, oh, she's moving. No, she's not. Okay. If you are new to this channel, I put out tarantula videos every single week about my observations about tarantula, research that I'm doing about tarantulas, tarantula care, tarantula facts, you name it. Also taking suggestions all the time. Um, so you can uh, subscribe if that's what you might be into. If you would like early access, you can subscribe to my Patreon as well. It is somewhere linked on YouTube on my channel. Um, anyway, back to how to go on vacation with a pet tarantula. So when you are taking on any pet, whether it's a dog, cat, bunny, or something like a tarantula, um, part of the responsibility that you're taking is knowing how to care for it while you're with them and when you're not with them. That is the commitment that you make to that animal or that creature. And sometimes there will even be sacrifices that you have to make when you sign up for such a commitment. And now many of us get Pet tarantulas, because they tend to be a lot more low maintenance than a cat or a dog, you still can't just leave them most of the time. Um, if you want to be extra safe, you want to make sure that you do some preparation to ensure that they will be okay. Now, if you thought that this was going to be a post about how to actually take your tarantula on vacation with you, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This is not going to be that kind of video. <laughs> Or you might also be looking for a video, uh, video about how to transport or pack your tarantula if you're moving or you need to travel with them for some reason. Um, that's not, not what this is about either. There are actually tons of great tarantula YouTube videos about that, um, but this is not that video. This is more about the preparation so that your tarantula will be okay while you are gone. The interesting thing about this is that it's kind of a mind game. A lot of the times we are the ones that make ourselves crazy about this. 99% um, of the time, your tarantula is going to be fine if you leave one or two weeks. There is a 100% chance that you will go away and your spider won't give a damn. I've definitely left for a week or two and Spidey didn't even know I was gone. So most of the time, we are the ones that make a big fuss and we're the ones who get stressed out and we don't necessarily need to, but that does not mean we shouldn't take precautions. So I wanna mention that a tarantula can actually go a really, really long time without eating. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with tarantula and rose hairs or if you've ever had one, but certain tarantulas um, are infamous for fasting. So just in my few years of having Spidey, um, she is a Chilean rose hair and I've seen her fast for well over a year and a half and she's been fine. You know, her eating resumes when it feels like resuming or she'll molt or whatever she's gonna do. Uh, if you have an older tarantula and you're familiar with their molting cycles, you'll know that they can be perfectly fine and not eat for months or maybe re your like Spidey. Um, so they're cool. Um, when you have a younger spider, they need to eat a lot more frequently, but generally you could leave them for a week or two and nothing bad's gonna happen to them. However, I will say that water's a bit different for them. Tarantulas do need to be hydrated, so um, it's always really important that even if you cannot feed them right before you leave, to definitely make sure they have a full water dish so that they can drink when they need to. If you are leaving for an extended period of time for perhaps longer than a few weeks, um, or if it's really warm where you live and the water might evaporate very quickly, what you might wanna do is get a family member or friend to stop by every few days and just refill the water dish. Don't have them mess with any feeding stuff if they are too scared or don't want to, but the water is pretty important. So um, just having somebody stop in and just give them some water when they can is really, really important. Another really important precaution, um, you know, it can be nice to give them a meal before you leave, but generally you wanna do this a few days before you leave just in case something happens. There's always a chance that your tarantula might be going in pre-mold and might start fasting or the prey will burrow and get away from the tarantula and then it'll be loose around the tank. You do not want to leave any uneaten prey in the tank, especially when you're going on vacation, because there's always a chance that your tarantula could start molting, and then it'll be really, really vulnerable to whatever prey is running around in their tank. So you might think that you're doing a really, really nice thing by leaving them a cricket or something in their tank while you're gone, but you might actually be putting them in severe danger. So don't do that. If you have to feed them, try to do it a few days before, just so you can monitor what's going on in the tank or get that prey out of there in case uh, they hide or something like that. 
It's also really good to notice if your tarantula is acting stressed out. If there's anything in the tank that might be stressing them out, this could be an uneaten prey item that's running around. It could also be a new decoration that you just put in. It's really good not to put any new decor in the tank or mess it around or start redesigning the tank or even cleaning the tank right before you go. And that is because tarantulas tend to become very stressed out when you change anything in their environment and they tend to roam around or climb their walls. I know Spidey does this when she uh, senses that her substrate has been changed. And so you don't want them doing this behavior when you're gone because who knows, they might have a fall, they might um, hurt themselves somehow. So you do not, you want the conditions in the tank to be incredibly stable for at least two weeks before you go. So if you do have to give your tarantula a tank cleaning, do it at least two weeks before so that they have a substantial amount of time to readjust to their new surroundings and they're not going to be in that crazy frantic climbing phase or rearranging phase while you're gone. You want them to be really settled and very calm so that you can avoid them having an accident. Another really important preparation, and I see this quite a bit unfortunately in tarantula groups, is that if you are leaving for an extended period of time, even if it's just a day or so, you want to make sure that their tank is also situated in a place where it will be free from pets or kids. You don't want anything to be threatening. So like I said about the inside of the tank, making sure the environment and conditions are stable, you wanna do the same thing with what's going on outside their tank. You also wanna keep them away from environmental disasters that might um, hurt their safety. Things like direct sunlight or heat, you wanna keep them away from anything that might be a danger to them or might cause them stress or make them unhappy. In all honesty, you don't need to do much for your pet tarantula, but you do need to make some precautions um, just to ensure that their safety and comfort is prioritized before you leave and to make sure that they have everything. So if you take those little steps, um, you will probably come back to a tarantula who is fine and calm and didn't even know you left. And if you have any other advice of things to do before you leave for vacation or how to prep your tarantula for your vacation, please let me know in the comments and I'd be interested to know in how you actually prep for vacation and how you keep your pets safe and happy while you're gone. Um, so let me know and if you like this video, please subscribe. I put out tarantula videos every single week as well as my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, um, which you can find all the links to in the description below. And if you like uh, Spidey's tank or are thinking about getting a tarantula, I'm linking a bunch of her tank stuff below, like her substrate, her water dish and stuff like that. So you can find all of that stuff on Amazon. Um, I'll leave the links to that. And I hope that this was useful to you guys if you guys are taking a trip. Um, we're getting into the colder months over here, so I know that this is about a time when people start traveling and try to escape the winter in, on the East Coast at least. So. Um, if you have a tarantula and you're a new tarantula owner, this may be very helpful for you, and I hope it is. Anyway, guys, have a great week. I will see you next time.